Hey guys, this is the electric mocha pot coffee maker. These things are really cool, but normally you have to heat it up on a stove. This one's really nice because it has a plug and a base that heats it up for you. Uh, so I'm excited to try this. Let's get this thing out of the box. So in the kit, you're gonna get your coffee maker assembly and they send a little scoop here so you can measure your grounds if you wish to do it that way. These things are really easy to use. So first, we're gonna take this off the base. So this is the heating base here and you're just gonna wanna plug that into an outlet nearby. So as long as you have electricity in an outlet, you can make coffee with this coffee maker. And we're gonna unscrew the top off of this here. And inside, you'll find two parts here. You're gonna have this funnel piece, and this is where we'll put our grounds. So I'm just gonna set this down on here. And uh, then we have the cover, which we put on top. So first though, we wanna fill this up with water. And inside the base here, you will see there is a max line. So if you look closely in there, you'll see the max. So you can fill it up until that amount or less if you desire to make less coffee. All right, now we're gonna drop our funnel in here and then we're gonna fill this up to the line on the funnel with coffee grounds. And you can then adjust that if you wanna pack it in for stronger coffee or just use less grounds, you can do that as well. Today we're going with some Pete's Dark Roast. All right, two scoops from this scooper they send seems to be about the right amount. I think I had a little bit of a heaping scoop there. Then we're just gonna take our little cover piece, set that down on, just like that. And now we take this and we just screw this on and we turn it on. So we hit the power button, you can see it lit up. Now it's gonna start brewing our coffee. All right, so it really doesn't take that long. It was, I don't know, maybe three minutes, but uh, you will notice when you go to use it, it sits there. You turn it on and it sits there for like two or three minutes and does nothing. And then all of a sudden it comes, fills it all out really fast. So uh, it looks like nothing's happening, but it's heating that water up, getting it ready. When it hits the temperature, this thing goes to town. So why don't we try this out here? It's definitely a nice, dark coffee here. So you can use these for uh, different mixed coffee drinks or espresso, depending on uh, what type of grounds and how much grounds you put in there. Uh, I'm gonna flip that off here. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely a lot different than your typical drip style coffee. It's gonna taste a little different, but it is good. If you've ever had mocha style coffee, this is delicious. Oh yeah, it's really good. And I, I love coffee made this way and this thing is super convenient. It's really easy to use. Once this thing cools down, all I'm gonna do is unscrew this here. It's, that is hot. So I'm gonna let that cool down and we can dump the grounds out. You just rinse everything out and you can set it back here until tomorrow when you wanna make more coffee. So they make it really easy to use. It works great. It looks nice and it makes delicious coffee. If you're looking for a good mocha style coffee maker, and that's Mocha, M-O-K-A, not to be confused with the drink, M-O-C-H-A. Uh, but this one is really nice. I'm a big fan.